The third um, category under social presence is group cohesion or cohesion. And um, some of the elements I think that go toward building a sense of group cohesion would be having students be comfortable disagreeing with their classmates and building um, an environment in which that's modeled and in which that is supported and scaffolded in, in some way. And this ha goes back to reinforcing the sense of trust. You really, before you can disagree with somebody, you have to have trust, number one, that that's okay in that environment, that it's okay with your instructor, that it's okay with the other students. And so in order to do this, you sort of have to set the environment with some rules, some, some ground rules. And there are lots of ways to do this. You can, um, you know, have um, a list of uh, sort of rules of interaction. Um, you can ha have students co-create that list with you. So you come up with sort of a skeletal um, um, structure of the things that you want to make sure are in there but then open it up for um, conversation with the students and have them contribute to that list of of what's okay um, and and you have to model it so you have to say it explicitly again you can never you know say anything too explicitly in an online course it's like almost over being over explicit about things um, so if your expectation is that the students are going to challenge each other that they can have their opinions and be be respectful of each other but they want it but you want them to challenge each other on you know either um, you know how they're applying something or how they're refuting something or how they're um, um, interpreting something then they need to know that you, you know you're going to be respectful but then you have to have your assertion and support your assertion and be respectful about it and and understand that that's the nature of the interaction in the course that's what you expect so you need to be explicit about that you kind of have to ramp up to that kind of a thing, right? You can't just all of a sudden throw everybody into a, a into an interaction and, and then expect that they're going to, you know, go at it and do it well. So you kind of have to scaffold them into it and give them corrective feedback and model stuff and give them examples. It's nice if you have an example discussion um, for the students to look at so that they can see examples of high quality interactions and how you can uh, effectively reflect refute somebody or effectively, um, um, you know, um, add another dimension to a conversation or, or whatever. A sense of trust is really important. Um, you also want to model um, acknowledging uh, points of view. So if you were, things, an example of that would be, in, in a response, in a discussion response, or in some sort of interaction response saying, um, you know, I hear what you're saying, I understand what you're saying, um, I, I heard what you said in the previous discussion, um, um, or this is what you did say in the previous discussion. So somehow acknowledging uh, something that was previously said, um, that helps to establish group cohesion. Um, discussion in and of itself, just discussion by itself helps to establish a sense of group cohesion because you're sitting there asynchronously, of course, um, you've been given some sort of a prompt or you have some sort of a, of a, um, you know, piece of content that you're interacting over, um, and, uh, or some question or some, uh, issue or dilemma or case or whatever. And so that puts you all on the same side of the table, looking at whatever the, the, the content is and having some reaction to it. And so that in and of itself um, um, uh, can create a, a sense of, of group cohesion, um, all being faced with the same question. Some elements um, that that uh, that are sm that might may seem small, uh, but that are equally important, I think, in supporting that sense of cohesion would be using salutations, um, using first names to address people individually, um, and using inclusive pronouns. So, you know what I mean. So that you really are um, um, making an effort to make it we or to us to make it us. Or or, in, or or identifying individual people, um, you know. I, I use uh, peer evaluation, uh, which uh, in discussion in, in class discussion, so that students can really focus on. Um, 
um, adding this element of uh, giving feedback to their classmates, which also ends up having this this um, um, effect on on feeling like a group. So whenever they respond to somebody, they have to start with um, a, a peer evaluation of that prior post that they're responding to, and then they have to self-assess. So at the end of their own post, they have to give themselves a score based on a rubric that I ha have created for them. So they, they evaluate the person they're responding to at the beginning of their um, response, and then they self-evaluate themselves. And this also, I think, helps them to um, get a sense that they're in this together. They're helping each other, um, giving them each other feedback, um, and then assessing uh, themselves and there's a bunch of presences that are kind of mixed up in that but I think um, that that helps to um, um, build a sense of community a sense of group cohesion a sense of trust um, and definitely they get a sense of um, of the socialness of the environment because they are um, um, getting really getting to know each other in the process of all of these things all mixed together.